Hi, in today's video I want to create some artist trading coins with washi tape and this washi tape was sent to me for free from the washi tape shop and I get a lot of these grid ones which I really enjoy using in my bullet journal and I also got some of these artsy Van Gogh washi tapes which I really adore and I have already used them to cover my sketchbook and today I want to create a background for artist trading coins. I have prepared some pieces of mixed media paper. You can use any kind of heavier weight paper you have on hand and I'm just sticking down the tape in strips and I just pick the ones I like the most. The washi tape shop has really nice designs and I was surprised about the quality and the packaging was also very lovely. I also got a code for you to save 10% on your order over at the washi tape shop and I will post this in the video description. I'm now speeding up the process a little bit so it doesn't get too long and boring for you. It's just sticking down that washi tape. This technique works also great for greeting cards for example or for die cutting. It's also really interesting to make some for example botanical die cuts out of these kind of collage backgrounds. I did the same technique on my sketchbook to cover the front because it's a white sketchbook and I didn't like the white because it becomes dirty really fast and so I have these washi tapes on my cover. You will find an Instagram reel about the process. As this is washi tape and I don't trust the tape for such a project so I make sure that I um, secure it and I will use a gel medium to add a thin layer on top. I only have the matte medium here which um, dulls down the golden um, shimmery areas on the washi tape but I don't mind that. Of course you could use a glossy um, gel which I am sure will make the beautiful tapes pop even more. I just add a super thin layer with my spatula. This needs some time to dry and while it is drying I will prepare my main images for the artist trading coins. I have a piece of watercolor paper here from Kenson. I really like this for stamping and I'm stamping some of the celestial stamps with dark blue ink from Stays On. I usually don't mount my stamps anymore. I did this in the past but now I just use them with a simple glue stick and adhere them to an acrylic block. The only stamps I uh, mount with the easy mounts are uh, border stamps to make them more stable because I often use those border stamps without an acrylic block and also background stamps and for the same reason. The glue stick works perfectly and you can just use a wet wipe to remove the glue afterwards.
I want to color in these images with watercolors and I'm just preparing everything on my desk. I will use colors that are matching the colors of the washi tapes. Unfortunately, I can't remember which colors exactly I've used here. Um, it's a violet, obviously. I don't know which one it is. And I don't mind <laughs> coloring over everything because I want to cut out these images and I just want to have a loose um, coloration. Nothing detailed. I'm picking one of the core colors here. There, I can't tell you which one it is. It's the quinacridone gold. And I use it because of the high flow. And I really like that effect because it really um, goes into the other colors. And that's great if you have a lighter color or a color that usually creates mud. If it's the core watercolor, it will push away the other pigment and that avoids getting a muddy look. I'm not sure which one, which blue I want to use. I believe I'm using... I can tell you, <laughs> I'm sorry. It, it's maybe a Prussian blue? I don't know. I will let this dry and then come back later and cut the images out and while they are drying I have cut the circles from my washi tape background and I want to add a touch of gold as a frame around and I'm just using some gold acrylic paint and my fingers. Now everything is dry and I have cut out my main images and the only thing I have to do now is to stick down the motifs and I'm using some foam tape for that to give the coins some more dimension. I have also prepared some words with my Mix a Sentiment stamp sets and these are stamped to some violet patterned paper with golden embossing powder. I'm using a glue stick to adhere the words.
and that was my video for today it was just a quick one i hope you enjoyed it and maybe you have some new ideas what to do with your washi tape now i wish you a wonderful rest of the week see you next time bye